name is Abby Hill. I'm 15 years old and going into 10th grade at Robson Secondary School. My mentor for this project is Ashley Palmer, Conservation Education Specialist, Northern Virginia Soil and Water Conservation District in Fairfax, Virginia. My first plan was to hand paint signs for Hemlock Overlook Regional Park in Clifton, Virginia to help hikers identify poisonous snakes, edible fruits, and mushrooms. Unfortunately, Hemlock Park had no supervisor, so I had to change my plan. I decided to build, install, and monitor bluebird nesting boxes in the town of Clifton, Virginia. And the town needed nesting boxes in a phase two of its bluebird trail through an eight acre park. Bluebirds were most abundant around the 1900s, but increasing competition from invasive starlings and sparrows, loss of farmland, and pesticides caused the number of bluebirds to fall. There was a bluebird population drop, but conservation efforts have moved the bluebirds to a least concern status. This is the nest box design that we selected. Before we built our nest boxes, a local scouts BSA troop offered us Eagle Scouts leftover nest boxes. They needed to be reinforced, treated, and modified to have clean outdoors and put fresh mesh over the get large gaps, but I appreciated getting them. This is an aerial view of the 8 acre park and marks of the four bluebird nest boxes as NB1 to NB3 and NB5. I am planning to build and add a warbler house at MB4 before spring. We went to each of the locations in the 8 acre park that we had selected on the map and then made sure that there was no nearby brush. First we drove in two pieces of rebar with a big hammer. Next we hammered the two posts for the nest boxes into the rebar until the nest boxes were secured to the ground. This was the hardest part. Nest boxes should face an open field and should not face hiking trails or other nest boxes. Placing them away from shrub helps keep other birds like sparrows and starlings from competing with the bluebirds from the nest boxes. Lastly, we put mesh guards over the nest box holes to keep the predators out. The nest box posts have predator guards that the scout troop provided to us. The predator guards keep raccoons, squirrels, snakes, and cats from getting into the nest and stealing the birds or the eggs. These guards increase the baby bird's chances of surviving to fledge. Next, I will get trained to monitor the next boxes I put in. Probably in May, I will be responsible for monitoring my next boxes and hopefully will be able to train other people in the future.